Alright, so it's getting closer to Christmas now. It's been a pretty rough year. I've been trying to figure out an idea for a video for Christmas. I think it's just been crazy, you know, with the pandemic. Um, myself, I've gone through several jobs this year, and in the last three months alone, I've destroyed two cars. You know, I just, I just want to get through this holiday and get into 2021, because I've just had it with 2020. You said you've blown up two cars? Okay, now, who the hell are you? I'm Calypso. I'm here to grant you your heart's desire. Huh, I don't know. You look kind of familiar. Shut up. First you must compete in my tournament. Tournament? Wait a minute. Uh, didn't we already play a game already? You look really... Twisted Metal! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. I never agreed to that. Yes, he did. When? Exactly. Good lord, why does this stuff keep happening to me? <laughs> you must win or die. What? <sighs> Fine. I guess I'm doing this again. Time to play some Twisted Metal. Twisted Metal was released for the Sony PlayStation in 1995 and was the beginning of a franchise that would become the top dog in vehicular combat gaming. It was developed by Single Track and produced and published by Sony. The game focuses on the 10th annual Twisted Metal Tournament, an event where the winner, or should I say survivor, is granted one wish, whatever their heart desires. The game was a critical and commercial success, paving the way for many installments in the franchise. So let's dive in and see if it lives up to its legacy. Alright, so the menu screen is pretty simple. There's a big logo, moody lighting, and not much else. So you know the game wants to be taken seriously. The option menu doesn't have much. You can adjust the music and the sound effects, but by turning either one up, you automatically turn the other down making it a bit frustrating if one of those monsters like me who likes to turn the volume all the way up on full blast and destroy your speakers. Now there's a single player mode and a two player versus mode but it really is just one on one which can be fun for about five minutes. Now let's take a look at the characters. Alright this game has a big selection here with each vehicle having its own backstory as well as its own playstyle and special attack. So let's take a look at a few of these characters. If you want to learn about all of the characters in the game, you better plan to read a lot. So first we've got Charlie Kane. He's in the tournament so he can find out where his missing son is. Now it seems a bit extreme way to go find your kid by, you know, terrorizing a city, killing countless people, but he's a taxi driver so clearly we got to get our stereotypes out here. And Charlie's special weapon is Molotov Cocktails. And it says here, the bottles of the good stuff set aflame, crude but effective, which pretty much sums up the entire game. And let's take a look at one more here. We got Sweet Tooth, whose real name is Needles Kane. Wait, Charlie, Needles, Kane. All right, well, I guess we may have found a connection here. And Needles is a serial killer and a total psychopath. So maybe this father-son connection makes a little more sense here. Okay, I'm going to look at a few more of these characters because some of their motivations are insane. Take Pit Viper, for example. What she wants is one million dollars. I mean, she's risking her life in this blood sport of a tournament and she can get anything in the world that she wants and she only wants one million. Now, if I was doing this for money, I'd ask for billions or more, especially if I'm told that I can have anything that I wish. I mean, give me a break all right and then we've got warthog and this guy just wants a weapon that can destroy the world which may be the most american thing ever 
But then we can look even further at. I mean, let's look at Hammerhead. It doesn't even say what these two clowns want. Dave and Mike sounds like two real winners. A stolen monster truck, two high school dropouts, and a collection of hard rock CDs. What could possibly go wrong? Anyways, I'm going to start going through the game as Mr. Grimm, who's really more of a mix between a biker and the Grim Reaper. I'm guessing the game creators were a fan of Ghost Rider. Alright, now we're in our first match, the Arena Battle, we're put up against Hammerhead. I know this game came out in 1995, and 3D was still new. This map is just shades of vomit and some polygon garbage. It's a mess. The controls are sloppy, but when this was out, the developers were still figuring out how to make the 3D medium work, so I'll give that a pass. But even if you can overlook the controls, the sludge-covered walls and oil-spill-soaked floors give this game a sloppy look that has not aged well. In the second level, the game opens up, but the graphics aren't any better. The buildings are muddled, pixelated messes, and the map is mostly flat. The size of it, while it's a little bit better than the arena, is still tricky to find your opponents. I'm guessing this is going to be a running theme of frustration with this game. Oh, and Mr. Grimm has the greatest special attack of all time. He fires a giant face at you. I mean, just look at this thing. This just screams terror. The next battle is on the highway, which is a linear loop of dark, muddy textures and colors with five opponents. But even then, the length of this map can make it a pain to track down enemies. Between the monotonous road and touchy controls, this battle is more about frustration than anything else. The game is set on Christmas Eve, and the next map is the first and only one that takes that into account. But other than some Christmas trees and a small stream, this is really just more of the same. Next. Uh, now here's where I'm torn. Do I praise this level for finally offering us something different and a nice, well-lit, bright level? Or do I point out the tournament is supposed to be over Christmas Eve, and we've already had several battles at night, so the daylight clashes completely with the entire premise of the game. Uh, anyways, it's a bit better to look at it at least, even if it does kill the immersion. So moving on. The final battle of the game is the rooftop battle. So suddenly, magically, all these cars are airlifted onto the rooftops for a final showdown. You also see cars that you've already destroyed, so maybe ghost cars or strange duplicates? Anyways, this level is a real challenge as falling off the roof can land you a quick death. After you finish off the last of your enemies, you'll find out that Calypso has an ace up his sleeve, sending Minion after you. So now, you're on a rooftop facing a tank. Okay! Minion is the hardest enemy of the game, but once you beat him, you get to the finish, which again, is not a cutscene, but instead a long wall of tanks. For Mr. Grimm, the prize he wanted was Calypso's soul, and claiming the creator of Twisted Metal and ending the series. But, we also know that there's several games after this one, so apparently this isn't the canon ending. You know, when I started playing this game to review it, I thought back about playing it when I was a kid, and I remember loving the game. Playing it now just feels like a chore. I didn't enjoy it. And after hours of frustration, I had to use cheat codes just so I could get through to get the footage I needed for the video, because I just could not get a grasp on the controls. I remember beating this as a kid with every character so that I could see their ending, but now I was just bored and frustrated. Uh, Twisted Metal is a great franchise, don't get me wrong, but this game has not aged well, and I really wouldn't recommend it to anyone unless they're just getting it to flesh out a gaming collection, but certainly not to play. Alright, well, I beat Twisted Metal. Are you happy now? Do I get my heart's desire? Because honestly, I'd really like a PlayStation 5 about that. I don't know what you're talking about! No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait a minute. We had a deal, bro. We had a deal, bro. You'll go back on a deal. No, you didn't. Wait, wait, 
you're me, just me. Uh oh. Uh, Who are you talking to? But he was right. He was. But he was right. He was right. Calypso, me, the, but I, me, he. Are you sure you're okay? I, I won! That's the thing, I won! I played your stupid game I won! I beat the battle, I won! 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 I won. Oh, thank God. It was just a dream, Goku. Oh, sweet Jesus.